welcome to Storytime. I'm Katie Wayne, and today we're at St. Killian Parish School reading stories about service dogs. Are you ready for an adventure in reading? Me too. Come on, let's read. Let's read Ranger, a PTSD service dog, written by Laura Kasser. Hi, my name is Ranger. I'm from Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs. We are an extraordinary group of dogs and Miss Carol is our leader. Because some people need special help, we're trained to make the world a better place for them. I have three sisters, Justice, Luna, and Raven, and even as puppies, Miss Carol can see our talents. But there is something exceptional about me. Miss Carol calls me a cuddle bug because I love people so much. I want to be a post-traumatic stress disorder service dog. PTSD sometimes happens to people when they experience something terrible. The sad memory won't leave them and affects their lives. I hope one day I can help a person have a better life. I hope I can help a soldier. Now that we're a little older, we start our real training. Miss Carol calls our playground agility equipment, but I call it a blast. There's a swimming pool filled with plastic balls, a dark tunnel to push through, and endless games of fetch. My favorite is the puppy teeter-totter. Some of the dogs are afraid of it, but not me. I'm the bravest. I could teeter-totter all day. My sisters have favorites too. Justice hears every little noise, Luna loves to fetch, Raven has a super sniffer, Miss Carol learns a lot about us by seeing what we're good at and what we like to do. At training, we're also learning commands. Some are commands that probably every puppy learns, like sit and stay. But here at Guardian Angels, we learn special commands too, like paws. There's a special red chair for us to learn paws. Today, I will use the red chair, but someday that red chair might be my soldier's wheelchair. I want to be ready to help him so he doesn't have to bend down so far to reach me. Another thing we do at Guardian Angels is called socialization. I love it. Want to know why? It involves people. Lots and lots of people of every different kind. They may have different color skin or unusual clothes. Some speak in words I don't understand. Some of them eat food that gives them an unusual smell. But no matter how they look, sound, or smell, they're all very kind. They come to brush us and play with us and pet us, but more importantly, they let us know that different is okay. Guardian angels make sure that nothing is foreign to us. Nothing is scary. Because of my training, loud noises and sudden movements don't even make me blink. Our trainers show us all kinds of things like wheelchairs and walkers, crutches and prosthetic limbs. My soldier has been the bravest of the brave and now it's my turn to be brave for him. I just can't wait to meet him. For a while, I leave Guardian Angels to go live in a foster home. Miss Carol says this is where we get the polish on our house manners. I also get lots of public access hours to understand how to behave in different settings, and I get used to riding in a car. Every week, I go back to Guardian Angels for classes. I'm almost ready for my soldier. I hope he's ready for me, too. Today is the day. I'm two years old and I'm meeting my soldier. I'm so excited. This is what I was called to be, just like my soldier was called to serve his country. Miss Carol tells my soldier, this is your dog. My heart grows almost too big for my body to hold. My soldier pets my head, gives my ears a scratch. Well, look at your purple collar, he says. You must be a brave one. We spend time together at Guardian Angels so my soldier can learn my commands and all the ways I can help him. 
Finally, we're ready. I see a tear on Miss Carol's cheek as I say goodbye to my sisters. Like me, they've all found a way to use their talents to make the world a better place. Justice will be a hearing service dog. Luna will be a mobility service dog, and Raven will be a seizure service dog. And just like my puppy dreams, I will be a PTSD service dog, using all my skills and my brave, loving heart. My soldier puts my vest on me. I am proud. This is my uniform and lets the world know that I am on the job. My soldier opens the door and tells me to get in. Come on, Ranger, he says. Let's go home. I can sense he's happy and excited just like me. I'm already making a difference. In my new home, my soldier provides all good things to me. He alone feeds me and grooms me. We walk together and play together. He's even the only one to take me out for my bathroom breaks. He does it all, and so we bond completely. Although I am part of the family, I am the soldier service dog, and I will work for him alone. My soldier's little girl says my soldier and I are like peanut butter and jelly. I hope she means I'm the peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Before I was in my soldier's life, he had a hard time. He would go weeks without leaving his house. Now, with me by his side, he can be a part of his community again. One way I help is called shielding. This is when I stand between my soldier and stranger so he feels safe. He knows I've got his back. I can also sense my soldier is starting an anxiety attack or a flashback. He becomes nervous or vividly relives a bad memory from his past. I feel the turmoil in him. I have special ways to help him calm down. I sit on his feet and press hard against him or I jump in his lap and lick his face. When I do these things, my soldier remembers where he is again. When my soldier is at peace, I am at peace. I already love him so much. Sadly, sometimes even in the safety of his own home, my soldier doesn't feel at peace. Sometimes the nightmares come. Even in the middle of the night, I'm ready to serve. I wake my soldier, I let him feel my presence. I try my hardest to protect him, even from the bad things that lurk in his head. One day, I have to help my soldier in a way I have not been trained to do. We're walking up concrete steps. I know this is hard for my soldier because of an old injury, and I'm very alert. He's a little nervous, and so am I. Then it happens. His legs buckle. He starts to fall backwards. Without thinking, I put my body between my soldier and the concrete steps. I let him fall on me. He is a little hurt, and so am I, but the doctor at the hospital says, I probably saved my soldier's life. My soldier puts his hand on my head and tells the doctor, Ranger does that every day. Today is a special day. My soldier is getting honored for his service to our country. I walk next to him in the parade. It's wonderful to see so many patriots cheering and waving their flags. My soldier walks a little taller, and so do I. The commanding officer says many things about my soldier, then gives him a medal. I'm so proud to be standing next to him. Then, to my great surprise, the officer turns to me. He calls me a real lifesaver and says how I have helped my soldier as he drapes a special medal around my neck. My soldier looks at me and says, I am proud to be your soldier, Ranger. Those words make my heart shine brighter than any metal. That night, my soldier and I have a heart to heart. You changed my life, Ranger, he says. I can sense strong emotion in him, but it's not the bad kind, so I relax and listen. I was so alone before you, hiding behind a wall. You helped me come out. My soldier scratches my ears the way he knows I like, and I lean into him. I can be with people again. I can be strong and focused. I can be a better husband and father. I know these things, too. I have seen the change in my soldier, and I'm happy. I feel like my old self again, Ranger, he says. And we're not ever giving up, right, boy? I lick my soldier's hand to tell him. Right. The end. So now you know a little bit more about service dogs.
Did you know there are so many different uses for service dogs? Yeah. No, there's lots and lots. Some of you maybe did. Have you ever seen a service dog before? Sure. What, what did you see that, what did you notice about that dog? Um, when we, me and my dad were at Costco, um, there was this lady who um, couldn't hear. Okay, great. Sure, sure. Okay, so you might have seen a, a, a dog that was helping someone that was deaf. Um, when I went to the art museum, there was someone in a wheelchair um, who had a disease that made it so they couldn't use their muscles that well, so they had a service dog helping them. Okay, so someone in a wheelchair who had some co kind of muscular disability did. Great. Okay. So in the book, it talked about all different kinds of things. So disabilities on wheelchairs where it's hard to pick things up and the dog does that for you. Were there a couple of abilities or commands that were surprising to you out of the book that the dogs could do? Um, I saw that someone could like reach down in the wallet so the dog helped them like it like jumped up and got the wallet and handed it over. Sure, so sometimes the dog's carrying the wallet, sometimes the dog is handing the wallet over. Did you hear that it can get the money out of the machine? Yeah. What? How about that? That's cool. That is cool. Different things, they help them get to bed. They even pull up their covers. If they have a hard time with that, say they have one of those physical disabilities, they can't get the covers up and they can pull them up. Okay, so lots of different uses. Sometimes their smell is so good that they can tell if they're having a diabetic attack or going to have a seizure. They can sense that from them. So thank you so much for learning all about service dogs with me. You were a great audience. Well, that's all the time we have today at St. Killian Parish School. Remember, if you'd like us to come to your school, ask your teacher or principal to contact us. See you next time. Bye-bye.